Hey fandom fam, I'm Emma and you're watching Fan City Central and this episode is all about international TV shows. This episode came highly requested by you guys when we asked what episode you wanted to see next. You guys were overwhelmingly responding with this one. Um, and I'm really excited to talk about these shows because one of my favorite things about Netflix is that you get to watch international TV that you don't normally get to see on broadcast in North America. Full disclosure, most of these recommendations are based on pilots. I watched a lot of pilots for you guys and these are some of my favorite ones. Um, some of the shows I have seen all the way through, some of them I'm partway through, so I will let you guys know the specifics of each one as we go through, and yeah, let's get into this. So the first show I want to talk about is Elite. It comes from Spain, and it's like a Gossip Girl-esque murder mystery. It's one of my absolute favorite, favorite shows. It has been renewed for a season two, and every episode is just a crazy cliffhanger. The characters are amazing. It's diverse. There's awesome representation when it comes to LGBTQ+. And the ships are really, really cute. Honestly, I have two episodes left of the series. I think I'm going to live react to the finale because my reactions um, are absolutely insane to this series and I never know where it's going to take us next. So I'm really, really excited to see how they wrap this up. And I don't really know how they're gonna make a season two. I guess there's gonna be a new mystery, um, but I'm really excited that it got a season two because it's one of my favorite, favorite shows. And so yeah, you should definitely check it out. I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but Kurt Sayet V. Sera. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's a Turkish romance that's also on Netflix. Apparently it's actually pretty old and it's also apparently based on a true story. Basically it's a romance between a soldier and a Russian woman set in 1916. Um, I've never watched anything from Turkey before and I, I like this. I It's very, very different from anything that I'd watched. It's very dramatic and kind of like like a soap opera-ish. It's very slow, there's a lot of montages, um, but I did really like the romance and I think it's a slower pace than what I'm used to, but the guy in it is really hot, so I think I'm gonna continue on, um, at least past the pilot and give it a couple episodes to see where it goes. I believe it is ended, it was as two seasons. So if you're looking for like a soap opera-esque type romance and you like a historical drama, then this one might be the one for you. Dairy Girls, guys, this one was so funny, by far the funniest pilot I watched out of any of them. So well done, the characters were hilarious. This is basically about a group of girls um, I don't know what time period it is, but it's in Northern Ireland, uh, back when the conflicts were happening with um, the rest of Ireland and England. And it's just their journey. They go to an all girls Catholic boarding school. It's about this group of friends. And then this guy who is one of the girl's cousins um, comes in from London and he also attends the girls boarding school because the school board was concerned that because he is English, he would get beat up a lot if he went to the boys school. So he also joins this little group of misfits and it's about their journey through school, I guess. But it's so, so funny, so well done. I really related to the main character a lot. She was hilarious. Um, the pilot has so many things going on with it. You learn about each of the characters and then there's a nun that dies and then there's an investigation into why she died. Um, and the guy is like coming to school and adjusting and there's no guy bathrooms for him. It was just so well done and I'm really excited to continue with the season. There are two seasons on, I think the second one is airing right now, so new episodes are going up. Um, and season three looks good for a renewal. It was just really good and I really recommend you guys check this one out. The 3%, so this one also comes to us from Spain. It's kind of like the 100 meets the Hunger Games. It's basically about a group of kids, like 20 something kids, um, and in this dystopian society, they live in poverty and this awful situation and every year there's something called the process um, that they have to get through in order to be part of the 3% and the 3% live in like wealth and luxury and so every year the the next group of kids come, come and they try to get through the process um, but it's very like the Hunger Games and the 100 it's very grueling um, it's like people die there's like a lot of really bad challenges in it um it's run by this one dude who's like super sketchy and awful um and so you meet all the characters in the pilot obviously they're going through the process 
I didn't love the pilot. I am going to give it a couple more episodes to try. Um, I just didn't fall in love with any of the characters in it and I didn't feel emotionally attached enough to any of them to really care about the story that was happening. Except for the twist ending. There was a twist ending to the pilot which was really kind of cool and I didn't see it coming at all and I think that's kind of redeemed it a little bit so I am going to continue with a couple more episodes. Um, I'll let you guys know how it goes but if you do like The 100 and The Hunger Games and like the whole dystopian thing um, you might really like this series. Meteor Garden so apparently this is a remake of a popular show that happened in the early 2000s I think. I have just seen the pilot and I really like this pilot. It's I don't normally watch Asian cinema, and clearly I should be. It was so well done. The characters were hilarious. Basically, it's about this girl and her two friends going to college, this elite school, um, and then this other group of guys called F4, who are like the popular seniors at college. So much happens in the pilot, like so much. Like they're in high school to begin with and then they get through high school and their entrance exams and then they go to college and then college takes place over like a week or something crazy. You really get to learn a lot about each of the individual characters which I really liked. The cinematography is amazing, it's beautiful, uh, there's loads of color in it which was also new for me because I'm usually watching like The 100 or Teen Wolf where it's super dark. I think I'm definitely going to continue on with this show as well. I really did like it a lot. Yeah, it was really good. I definitely recommend it. Scam. This one is one of my favorite, favorite shows, guys. Um, this is also the only one that is not on Netflix on this list. So basically the OG show comes from Norway and it is a show about a group of girlfriends that go through their senior year in high school and each season covers one of the characters. It's just so well done. If you've seen Skins, it's kind of like that. Um, but in my opinion, a little bit better. And it has been adapted in over seven languages now. Basically, each, each adaptation kind of covers the same storyline and plot, but somehow it doesn't get stale. The characters always change and each adaptation is geared towards their own culture. So for instance, in Norway, um, they're focused on their senior year and planning the Ruspas, which is um, something that Norway seniors do. They get this bus and they party basically. Um, whereas in Scam Austin, which is the US version, they're focused more on the football and dance teams, which is more geared towards Austin. So I really like that each time it changes based on whatever country's culture it's adapting to. It, Austin is the most different one I've seen so far. They have changed up the characters and a couple of the genders and stuff, which I'm really excited about. Currently, France and Austin are airing. I don't know if any of the other ones are. Um, I have only seen Austin, France and the OG Norway one. If you are thinking of watching, definitely check out the Norway one first. It's so, so well done. And then um, watch any of the adaptations you want. Um, you don't really have to watch the original if you just wanna dive into whatever one you want first, um, but it will give you a little bit of context if you're interested in that. And so many amazing people have put it up online with English translations so you can find it. Yeah, it's just so good. Can't recommend that one enough. It's really, really well done. So that's it for our international show recommendations. Um, we didn't even really cover the UK or Australia or New Zealand. There's so many more we could have done. So if you want another video about this, please let us know. Um, and if you have any recommendations for some awesome international shows we should be watching, please drop them below. Or if you have any thoughts on any of the ones we recommended today, please let us know below as well. We would love to hear from you. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so that you can fangirl with us 24-7. And we will be back later this week. That's what June's made of. Bye, guys.